afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. I'd like to take a moment of this opportunity, just during the car show, you've been hearing the whole day that this 8th Annual Mormon Home Center car show is in support of the Jim Pattison Children's Hospital Foundation. And that's what we're doing here today, of course, here to have a great time, enjoy uh, the afternoon, see some cool cars, but also support a great cause that we're out here. So all the donations, uh, everything that we're raising money for today is going right to this. We've got a great presentation coming up for you right now. If you've got a second or two to listen, uh, just to tell you what this is all about. First off, though, we've all been seeing the hospital going up right next to the University Hospital, our new children's hospital, and we've been watching it go up around Saskatoon, and it's like, some pretty exciting news. So we thought first we'd actually bring in Stacy Lawson. Stacy's from the hospital. She's going to come over and tell us a little bit more about what's actually going on with the building. Come on over, Stacy. Hi everyone, thanks for inviting me to the 8th Annual Mormon Home Center Car Show. I just want to share a quick update on the progress of our new provincial maternal children's hospital. As Saskatchewan is only one of two provinces without a children's hospital, it's time. We're 87% complete and on target to open the fall of 2019. Jim Pattison Children's Hospital will have 176 private patient rooms with space for a parent to stay with their child. The facility will house the only pediatric intensive care unit in the province, as well as three pediatric surgical suites, a first for the province. The hospital will include family and play spaces, and even a theater for puppet shows, state-of-the-art equipment and research opportunities, one of which will be... Uh, sorry. State-of-the-art equipment research opportunities will draw world-class talent and expertise to our province. We can't always change the circumstances for why a child is admitted to the hospital, but we can change a hospital experience by providing a family-focused environment that isn't scary for kids. Our new hospital will keep families together, closer to home, at what is often a very difficult time. This building isn't about bricks and mortar, it's about the kids and families who desperately need it. I've had the honor of meeting some of these kids, like Dylan. No child should ever have to endure what these kids and their families have gone through. Every kid deserves a childhood. What you are doing as supporters is changing lives. You are truly making a difference for Saskatchewan families and our children. I'm sure many of you remember Mike McCullough from The Riders. Mike and his wife Laura lost his son Cole, and Mike now sits on our board. I think Mike stated it best when he said this will be a state-of-the-art facility and we hope it stays empty, but it won't. Our families need this hospital, and I'm proud to play a part in helping to bring it to fa the families that will count on it to care for their children. Thank you, Nicole, and all the organizers, and to you, the participants. Open Healing begins with you, and we can't wait. So pretty, pretty exciting to see how uh, everything is coming along, and that we're that far along with the hospital. But right now, we've actually got a great uh, family here that we want to bring up to the mic, and to talk about their experience. We've got Curtis and Charlotte and their son Dylan, a really special guy uh, who's unfortunately had to spend a little bit of time in that hospital. Uh, and and they, they're going to talk about exactly how important it is, this new hospital here in Saskatchewan, right for the kids. So guys, come on up and tell your story, okay? Well, thank you for having us today. My name is Sharla. This is my husband, Curtis, and this little guy down here is Dylan. Everyone wave. He's very shy, as you can see. <laughs> we, um, we are here today because we have spent many months um, in one hospital or another all across this province and other provinces in Canada. Dylan was born four months premature, so he spent the first six months of his life in a hospital, and Due to his prematurity, he has had many ongoing health issues, which require constant supervision, lots of doctor's appointments, lots of specialty appointments. Dylan had his 17th surgery two years ago, and there's definitely more in his future, unfortunately. But one thing that we are beyond grateful for is the fact that we will soon not have to travel out of province for all of these surgeries. I think that's one thing that people People don't think about that aspect. It's when you have a sick child, it's it's incredibly difficult. It's so much more difficult, though, when your family gets split up because half of you has to stay here to work and the other half of you has to travel far for surgery, sometimes weeks, even months on end away from home. So 
we just wanted to thank each and every one of you for being out here today to support this fantastic cause. It truly is a cause that will benefit all families across Saskatchewan. Um, Dylan's story is a unique journey and it will benefit children like him, but also just regular typical children who have an accident in the park and have to go for an x-ray. Hospitals are scary places and a children's hospital is just an incredibly warm and welcoming environment and it can make a very scary time just a little bit more, a little bit less scary for a child and that's ultimately all we can ask for. So thank you all for coming guys, we appreciate it. So as you can imagine, you know, from Dylan's story, uh, thanks guys for coming. It's incredibly important what we're supporting here today. So all we ask is, you know, if you've got an extra $5 in your wallet that you think you could give to the Children's Hospital Foundation today, we'd gladly take it from you. Uh, of course, there's donation boxes you saw just near the barbecue. We're taking money for by donation for the barbecue today. But any way you can help out is, uh, is a great way to help out. So thank you very much. We've got our uh, raffle prizes coming up. We've got our 50-50 draw as well. That'll be on the way. And right now we're actually going to get Curtis over here. He is from the Warman Home Center. I'm just a, I'm just a step in. And, and he's going to tell us a little bit uh, about what's going on, as well as Warren. Okay. All right, cool. Well, first of all, I'd like to thank everyone for uh, coming out today and uh, sharing the day with us. It's such an honor to be a part of something like this, um, to be able to see this many people come out and uh, not only enjoy the car culture and each other's company, but to support an amazing cause like the uh, Children's Hospital. Uh, you know, we never know when uh, need will, will fall upon us, and so when we can support something like this, uh, when families are in need, and uh, in the early stages in, in, the, in life and stuff like that, it's, I think it's great that we can be a part of that. Um, I'd like to thank uh, Warman Home Center, the LP, the, the management team, and their great support of this event. Uh, it's been eight years of great support from management there, and also Coltec Window and Door Systems. Uh, without, without the support of, of Warman Home Center, of course, and Coltec, we can't put on an event like this. And our vendors have been uh, amazing as well in, in supporting us as a team to uh, work together to support the Children's Hospital, so uh, just such an honor to be a part of that. Uh, but right now we want to say a special thank you to uh, our family, Curtis, Shyla, and uh, Dylan for uh, coming out and sharing with us. You know, it's the, it's the personal touch that really brings it home for us, so we've got a small gift we'd like to present to you for, for taking your time to uh, come and help us. Can I open it? <laughs> yeah, yeah, buddy, you can certainly open it up. So yes, yeah, so again, thank you all very much for uh, for supporting. And again, like Jay already said, we we would love to take your money today and, and pass it along to the Children's Hospital. So if uh, yeah, if you if you find it in your hearts to do so, come see one of us with the, the groovy brown shirts here, and we'll uh, we'll get you looked after. Thank you very much. Enjoy the rest of the day.